everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ Expert Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to be going over a little bit of terminology before we go into the more advanced stuff with plugins. Firstly, let's go into our plugin menu. Let's look at the core engine. See this help tab? It'll have everything you need to know about how to use a certain plugin. But, that's not our main focus for today. Let's scroll down a little and let me just show you this. Note tags. Now you're probably wondering, what exactly is a note tag? Well, in summary, it's something you put in a notes tab of an object. But what is a note tab, you may ask? Let's look at the database. See this note thing? That is where you put notes. Let's say you want to just type a note, like the player will not be able to see it in the game, but you will be able to see it whenever you enter the database. So, let's write a normal note that doesn't do anything. Blah, 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 note stuff. That is just a regular old note. It doesn't do anything. It's just where you could write stuff to have information for later. Now, let's go back into that plugin, help tab. Now, let's use something like this. This is a max level plugin a max level note tag that's seen in the core engine plugin for Visual Stella MZ. You could type this or you could copy this from the help page. You can right click, nope, you can't do that, but you can control C it though. Oh, keep in mind, you, you should always read this information here that's displayed alongside the note tag just so you know where to place it, what to do with any sort of variable, like say X would be replaced by an int value. You can always do this to break normal limits, but be careful, this may end up breaking the game. Anyway, let's go, to, let's go back to the database. So we have our actor for reference, and what we're going to do is paste the note tag. Now, let's say you don't want level 100 to be the max level, I mean level 99. Normally in RPG Maker MZ, the maximum level you can have is 99. But, we can take this a little further. Let's turn it to 150. And now, let's do a little event just to make sure that we know what we're doing with this. Level up. And let's just use this actor. Let me just make sure we know we're leveling up. Now let's actually do the level. So, let's see, actor, change level, increase by 98, copy, paste. Now, let's see how this works in a game. Oh, don't worry about the music. As you can see, we are much higher level than normal. Let's close this game. Now, as you can see, that note tag caused the maximum level of this actor to increase. Not all note tags apply to actors, though. For instance, there might be some note tags that apply specifically to items. For instance, in this item equips core plugin, there should be a note tag for items somewhere. Ah, yes, the maximum. This. For instance, this one could say how many is the maximum item. You can up this up to anything. And you could always just change this for generally in the plugins just to save some time. There are all there are many ways. There are many plugins that have various note tags that do various things. Feel free to experiment with the note tags and figure out what each one does. You can always read this just to make sure what they do. Some even allow JavaScript. Oh, and don't... You may not be as skilled as JavaScript, so you don't necessarily have to use these, but these can be powerful with the right amount of experience with JavaScript. Anyway, I'll close this. That too. And that should be everything you might need to know about note tags and how to properly use them. Remember, use them wisely. They may be, they may be powerful, and you can shove tons at once but be weary about how much data can be overloaded in them. 
you may want to consider that if you have, say, a poor computer where you don't have as much memory to work with. Anyways, that's Witty Wearing, and I'll see you guys next time.